Rebecca Vardy's childhood home had no birthday or Christmas, television and books were censored and warned that young mischiefs or bad behavior would attract God's wrath. As a witness to Jehovah, he could not invite other children to play in the school council or sing hymns. Humility was applied to the extent that it passed through adolescence without being told how its body worked. The life of him and his extended family was ruled by elderly who could judge people with the right to expel them from their closed communities. These men were so afraid that when Rebecca told her mother that had been sexually abused since she was 12, covered up with fear of embarrassing the family. Now, WAG, the wife Leicester City star Jamie Vardy and the mother of five children, reveals this extraordinary and painful part his past in a UK Channel 4 documentary. 41 years old, he takes on role of a reporter in front of camera, interviews with other former Jehovah's Witnesses, and tries to face movement at £150 million UK centres in Essex. People are being manipulated, their brains are being washed, this is a compelling behaviour and passed down from generation to generation. Once inside, it's hard to see the big picture that is wrong and immoral. I spent my childhood in fear, saying that if we do not pray enough, we will die in Armageddon. I felt that I had to constantly strive for perfection so that God did not be angry with me. Camera icon Rebecca Vardybang Entertainment News Jehovah's Witnesses call a non-ditness worldly human. The program, released on Tuesday, is Rebecca's first entry into the public eye since last year's Wagatha Christie Supreme Court slander case. After his WAG friend accused him of leaking secrets from Colleen's private Instagram account, Colleen sued Rooney, but he denied it. However, the court found that Colleen's statements were largely correct and left Rebecca with a legal bill estimated at £3 million. The relationship turned into closed box office theatre play, a TV series two-part documentary, and it's hard to reconcile the lost lonely little girl depicted in this documentary with the glamorous WAG in her heart. Rebecca says you never know what's going on behind the closed doors of a witness house. The other was an opportunity to discover unanswered questions I had since my childhood. Since Jehovah's Witnesses were asked to preach from home to home, their formative years consisted of Bible reviews and knocking on people's doors. He says the stone was frozen, I can't even tell you how jarring our encounter is, thinking that we might have to knock on someone else's door, even if we're going to take part in our service tours on a Saturday. In my class, we would be dragged out of the meeting because we could not sing hymns at school or refer to religion, Christian beliefs. If it was someone's birthday and everyone sang Happy Birthday Sana, it was the same, we had to go. Shameful. His home life was also a minefield. Sigh.